Alright, welcome everybody to, uh, video today. So, um, what's going on is we are planting. I've got my guy out here planting this field. Just got some weeds on here, so I decided not to disc it. But guys, we got a bigger sheep pasture. Uh, pen, whatever you want to call it. That, the sheep aren't dead, guys. They're just sleeping, as you can tell. Got some sheep sleeping. Some of them are in here with the heat lamps. Um, got some feed. And guys, we're gonna have to make a lot of hay this year. Because, uh, yeah, this whole spot that had hay in it is, uh, already gone. Um, and I've been taking off the top row of that other stack. Gotta give them some grass in there. Mix in a little bit of grass with the hay. But yeah, this top row up here is already gone, and part of our stack is starting to fall, so we're going to take out this row, and then the next, I think we're going to order some hay, because, guys, we're making so much money, we don't even need to make hay. I'm probably going to, though, uh, just to keep prices down a little bit, don't know why there's a hay bale back there. Uh, oh, sheep are getting up. I woke him up. Alright, well, guys, we only have one cedar going right now. Um, and we got the garage open. We're back seeding and planting crops. But, yeah, we only have one planter going. This planter has got something wrong with these tanks. So we can't run it this year. Got a guy fixing it tomorrow. So, that'll be good to go. And then... Gotta hop in the truck. I actually have not checked out how the bees are doing. But we gotta check on the bees. And, uh, guys, I think we need to get a new truck soon. I've been saying it, but we, uh, we really, our farm took a beat last year without crop. Um, and we had to get sheep. I decided to just go with sheep because it's no joke. One of the cheapest things I could do is sheep and uh bees and i went with sheep because i hadn't done sheep before um in farm sim i hadn't done them and bees you don't really have to take care of them they take care of themselves you just collect the honey and stuff so went with those two and uh well we're gonna keep we're gonna keep them around because uh you didn't see that we're making a ton of money um, like, a ton of money right now. With all three of this. Uh, so, we're gonna keep going with how it is right now, but, yeah. Alright, so, I think the sheep are gonna be starting to wake up soon, and they're gonna come up and eat, so we better put some more feed in the chopping troughs. Oh, yeah, this whole side of that is, starting, is gonna fall down once this collapses it's gonna be a mess come on all right well we're planting it's planting 2002 planting day so just gotta take care of some animals quick and I'm gonna go uh, up through here make sure he's doing all right I know this tractor hasn't been running in a long time. Yep, they're doing good. Let's check our seed. Uh, yeah, it, it all looks good. Yeah, it's nice. It, we've got some new weed guards, right, like right there. Just takes these weeds right out, so it's nice. I do want to get in here and pick up those some frozen rocks and stones and stuff in here. I want to get rid of those. I'd like to buy a new disc. I'd like to buy the same disc but a newer one because this one is getting old. Um, but we don't have any money right now. We've got a thousand bucks. So we are not buying anything this year. Well, right now. Later this year we have to. Like we've got to pick up a new baler. Um, actually, you know what, guys? I think we need to go buy a bale. 
Yeah, we should probably just go buy a big bale right now. I am buying a bale at the near the end of the year. Uh, well, halfway through the year. We just, whenever we have enough money, we gotta buy a new baler. That baler is way too small. Uh, we do have bales out in the field still. Those bales are still good, the ones that are out in the field, since the winter was not that bad. So those bales will still be good. I do need to get them up before it rains, though. Um, so we don't want it raining and getting those bales moldy and having our animals getting sick. We can't afford to have lose any animals and I'm not joking we can't afford to $2,000 no joke might have to pull out a loan to buy a hay bale uh, it is how much we are in debt oh we could get a round bale of hay for $900 Straw bale. Um. Let's buy two round bales. Oh, this might not fit in the back of my big truck. Well, it's not big anymore. This is a small truck. Back in the day, it was a big truck. Now everybody else around me's got like these new Ford Super Duty things. Right. Just get that to just. <clears throat> this is very heavy. Holy cow! Can we just get this to roll? Oh, there we go. Okay, we better throw a strap on that one so it doesn't roll. There's two of them. Oh my gosh, these bales are heavy. Alright. So we're gonna leave these in the truck, and uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up the tractor. I'm gonna pick the tractor up from the field. Uh, that one that's out there, we're gonna go take that tractor and just use the front loader. And pick this up. We're gonna go buy a front loader for that one tractor. Cause I'm pretty sure the tractor that I have out in the field has got the front loader mounts. So, we're gonna use it. Definitely putting that tractor out there to work. So that's basically my planting tractor, and then those other ones are my harvest grain coat tractors. But, yeah, I had to sell two grain coats, or gravity wagons, whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah, there's brackets. Yeah, I had to sell two of them just so that we could help pay for the pen. There's $10,000 each for them. Got 20 grand off them. Help me pay to buy the lining for the fence and some of those troughs. But the building came from money that I already had. Because after we sold those, after we sold the um, equipment and we got out of debt, we just went on like a making money. And we just were making a ton of money. But. Yeah, it's, it's nice. So we only have these two green coats. They'll last us though, because we didn't fill up the other two. Um, I am going to try... Um, one of these years, I want to take that hay field and use it for corn. But right now, what we're doing is uh, we're planting soybeans, guys. I didn't tell you this, but this one field over here, we're planting soybeans in, and that field we're planting corn in. Um... We're going to do that to mix it up a little bit because soybean prices, well, if, if we check, if we check our market really quick, I could show you up here on the phone, um, but if we go over here up to, uh, soybeans, train yards $2,000 and something a bushel, farmer's market is where we'll probably be going, which is 150 per, per, uh, bushel. We're not going to train yard because I can't get it into the train yard. There's an issue with it. Um, and then if you look at corn, corn is at seven hundred forty-one dollars a bushel. So, and that's down, but corn's normally around 
a thousand hours a bushel where we can get 400 more for soybeans so we're gonna do some corn and soybeans mixing it up a little bit but it's uh it's doing pretty good right now so we're gonna stick with soybeans it's okay it's wall but we just gotta yeah. that is heavy very heavy Oh, uh, you know what we're gonna do? I think what we'll do right now is we're just gonna take these two large bales. And we'll just roll them right over into the pen. That's what we'll do. Not the most realistic, but you know how it works. That one there. Put this one. Also, come on. So we're gonna put these two round bales right there. Take a truck. Pick up. Oh, it's very dirty, this truck. Gotta wash it off. I'm still trying to find a good pressure washer right now. Had a couple come into the dealership, but I just can't afford them yet. Okay, that's strapped down. And, uh, yeah. So I guess I'll leave the pickup right here. Already got, like, what, four? Yeah, four hours on it. So. And that's, uh, planted. So that's good to go. And, uh, yeah. Looks like we've got ourselves a field planted with some soybeans, guys. So, I'm gonna go take this tractor. And we're gonna go over here to what was it? Why? I'm gonna turn on our cedar, speed it up, drop it down. And we're gonna let that guy do it. And there we go. Okay, so we're planting corn, and over there we got some soybeans planted. And guys, I think what we need to do is I think we need to pick up ourselves a sprayer. Yeah, that's right. We gotta pick up a sprayer. It's the 2002. Moving up technology. So, yeah, we gotta pick up a sprayer next year because this year we kind of really broke. Uh, we're gonna sell this baler, pick up a new baler this year. That's gotta happen. Uh, I might keep it as backup for, uh, we'll keep that baler, um, for around the yard a little bit. That way we can have some small bales when we need them. But we'll also get a bigger baler. A square baler. Uh, so it'll be the same bales. Like these, except I'll be much bigger. Hopefully, like, a little bit bigger and it won't be as, it'll be, like, the size that we can use with an auto stacker. Since, you know, we got auto stackers nowadays. Um, cause these bales, I have no joke, put like 30 bales in here to fill this up. So, yeah, it's kinda, it's not really saving us any time. It's not really efficient doing it that way with that small baler, cause I still have bales out there to pick up. But, yeah. So, this is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's a little bit longer video, I know, but I love this series. And, uh... It's going to take a little bit longer for some of these videos. Uh, we, I totally forgot, but we do have honey getting stored right there. I stored that as a backup. I had no joke, stored that as a backup if this farm was starting to die. Because I don't want to lose this farm. Because I don't want people to come in and repo the equipment. So I started storing honey as like my last resort as backup. Just enough to pay the taxes. We sell our animals, get just enough to pay taxes and stuff. But guys... 
we, I didn't realize, are making a ton of profit off this solar roof. We make like $5,000. Um, a month. And $5,000 a month is pretty good. It's not enough money. Well, it's enough money to pay for all of our taxes. So this roof alone pays for our taxes. But it's not enough money to pay for all the farm equipment and stuff. And this year is the year that I need to be replacing tractors. Because uh, the tractors are now two years old. So I need to be working on tractors and replacing some. But I think that we're going to have to just try and read it out and replace them next year. I hope these tractors stay running good. Um, because they're starting to get a lot of hours on them. Because after doing that hay, I got like... 600. This is role play, but I got like 600 hours on them. We got, we got a good amount of hours. This one's got a good amount. And it's... This one's gonna need some more diesel. This one burns a lot of diesel, which is fine. It's a big engine, but it's getting a lot of wear on this tractor. So we're gonna probably sell this one soon. We'll fix it up. We'll get rid of all the way. We'll fix it up. And then we'll sell it. Because that makes it worth more money. But I'm gonna keep the weight bracket on the front. Um, just because it's, I'll just switch it between all the big tractors that I have. All my biggest. But yeah. So I'm just gonna take this crate as a small one. Um, instead of filling it all the way up because if I fill it all the way up then it's the truck's not gonna like it because he's weigh a ton all right well I'll see you guys in the next video I'm gonna just keep tending into the sheep and I'll see you guys probably when it's harvest time because we get I'm just gonna keep making hay and making money guys so I'll see you guys later